All right, so while I got a minute, uh, I wanted to show you the new trailer I picked up. Uh, I sold my enclosed trailer uh, for one mower in the handful of places I do now, um, you know, since getting a job. Uh, so I got rid of the enclosed. I didn't need that anymore. Entirely too big. at 24 feet for one mower and a weed whacker and a blower. It was just... A little excessive so what I decided to go with was the 6x14 uh, tandem axle from tractor supply uh, it's a carry-on brand trailer um, not the best not the worst uh, pretty budget friendly uh, the whole trailer without the toolbox and I added the little sand foot they call it uh, that didn't come with it I just keeps things a little more stable uh, it was two thousand dollars. They had a sale on them uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, so not terrible for two thousand uh, dollars. I threw a quick coat of stain on just to protect the decking a little bit, and then uh, just bolted on those cheaper D rings for now, just to keep this strapped with this bigger square tubing. Uh, which is pretty sturdy. I mean, there's no flex in this trailer going down the road hitting the bumps like that uh, It looks like two inch square tubing all the way around and uh, So I put those on just so there's a good spot to hook the mower down to until I get time to weld some other D rings at some other points in this trailer uh, Tail lights are all LED uh, Probably add not probably, I will. Uh, I want to get the... It's like a light cover, metal. You weld on, put the light inside, just a protector. Uh, brakes on both axles. It's got the reflective tape on the gate. There are three little lights underneath. Uh, these little pieces of angle iron, they work as a pretty good support when you lower it down. The bottom of the gate kind of rests on them which is a nice added little protection to pre uh, protect the gate from warping. So, like I said, it's tan tandem axle, 3,500 pound axles. Uh, so with the weight of the trailer, I think, if I remember correctly, I think it was like 5,500 I can uh, put on here, which this is way light. So, a uh, few things I don't like about it is the paint job is... You know, it's hard to tell on camera, but it's a thin paint. It's nothing nothing fancy by any means. Um, but need be. Run it for a year or two. I could always wire wheel it, repaint it. It's not a big deal. And uh, the way they did the wiring, you can tell it's pretty... I have that part taped up so it doesn't rub. Uh, you can see in here they use those scotch locks. And those are those are destined to fail fail eventually, so I'll have to I'll have to take care of all that. Uh, that. That's not a not a big deal. So one thing I like is actually how the gate, if you can see, is tipped back. So and it's not bent; everything lines up exactly the way it should. Um, whether they did that because that's their latch system. Uh, or because the gate folds down, uh, it'll fold into the trailer. If you needed something longer, you just pile, you know, your wood on top of that or something. But what I notice is with it tipped back, the weight of it actually keeps the gate really, really still going down the road instead of some of the gates that are completely straight up. Uh, you get them wobbling back and forth. So I think if you were starting out landscaping and you needed a trailer, I would always steer clear of those single axle trailers unless you were really only working with a push mower and a small walk behind. This this leaves you room to grow in. If this was tucked all the way up, you could fit one more zero turn on there. It might be tight depending what mower it is, what brand. And you know, with the six foot wide, at least you know you're gonna fit a 60 inch mower in here no problem. As soon as you get to five, you know, five by 10 seems to be a popular size. Uh, as you grow, you have to get a trailer. So if you're planning on getting bigger machines, 
just go with the biggest trailer you need or can get at that time uh, but for me for what I'm using it for a few places a week it, it's nothing I don't need anything crazy they had the one with the black wheels so I chose that one just to go with the black wheels of the truck added on the toolbox uh, this one you could fit a pretty nice big toolbox in there so that's the uh, current setup for for this year nice and simple the way I like it now so if you have any questions uh, about this trailer uh, if it's something I can answer leave it in the comments below uh, don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and uh, try to get some conversation started so like I said it's not the best it's not the worst uh, if you're a newer guy you know, or even just a guy need another trailer that didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money uh, I don't see anything wrong with this trailer for for the price point of two thousand dollars brakes on both axles uh, you know 3,500 pound each axles you're getting pretty good you're getting pretty good money on it uh, the gate's got the spring so it's all assisted if you're older you got shoulder problems the gate is real light um, other than that that's about it so like I said any questions leave them in the comments and I will get back to you when I can thanks